This is USMLE QA, USMLE material presented in a question and answer format structured similar to the first date for the USMLE Step 1 book. Question, what is protein energy malnutrition? Answer, protein energy malnutrition is a condition that occurs when a person's diet is deficient in both calories and protein. Question, what is marasmus? Answer, marasmus is a form of protein energy malnutrition that results in muscle wasting. It is characterized by a diet that is deficient in calories, but no nutrients are entirely absent. Question, does marasmus cause edema? Answer, no, marasmus does not cause edema. Question, what are the characteristics of marasmus? Answer, marasmus is characterized by muscle wasting and a diet that is deficient in calories, but no nutrients are entirely absent. It is a form of protein energy malnutrition. Question, what is the main cause of marasmus? Answer, the main cause of marasmus is a diet that is deficient in both calories and protein. Question, are there any physical symptoms associated with marasmus? Answer, yes, marasmus is associated with muscle wasting and a lack of overall body fat, leading to a thin and emaciated appearance. Question, can marasmus be treated? Answer, yes, marasmus can be treated through a combination of diet and nutrition therapy along with addressing any underlying medical or social issues that may be contributing to the malnutrition. Question, is marasmus a common condition? Answer, marasmus is more common in developing countries than in individuals experiencing poverty or food insecurity. Question, how is marasmus diagnosed? Answer, marasmus is typically diagnosed based on a combination of physical examination, medical history, and laboratory tests. A healthcare professional will look for signs of muscle wasting and low body weight and may also measure levels of nutrient markers in the blood, such as protein and zinc, to confirm the diagnosis. Question, what is the prognosis for individuals with marasmus? Answer, the prognosis for individuals with marasmus depends on the severity of the condition, how quickly it is treated, and any underlying medical or social issues that may be contributing to the malnutrition. With prompt and appropriate treatment, most individuals with marasmus can make a full recovery. However, if left untreated, marasmus can lead to serious health complications and even death. Question, what are some preventative measures to avoid marasmus? Answer, some preventative measures to avoid marasmus include maintaining a balanced diet that is high in calories and protein, addressing any underlying medical conditions that may affect nutrition, and addressing social issues such as poverty and food insecurity. Access to clean water, sanitation, and healthcare also play a vital role in preventing marasmus. Question, is marasmus more common in children or adults? Answer, marasmus is more common in children particularly in developing countries, due to the increased nutrient requirements for growth and development. However, adults can also be affected by marasmus, particularly in cases of poverty or food insecurity. Thank you for watching our Q&A format video. We hope this helped you learn, review, and retain knowledge needed for the USMLEs. For more information on this topic, check out the link in the description. Now, if you want to take your USMLE prep to the next level, be sure to check out all our courses, which are structured to follow along with the first date for the USMLE Step 1 book. You can find us at usmleqa.com. And if you're watching this on YouTube, be sure to like and subscribe.